Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about a few of these transform orientations and how they're a little bit different. So we are still in edit mode. Uh, these still work in your object mode, but let's stay in edit mode for today. And by default, Blender is going to have global here. So let's select maybe the forehead here. And notice if we are in global view, it's the global X, Y, and Z for the scene here. So, you know, up is up, uh, Y is back to the back there, and X is to the left and right. But let's say if we go back to object mode and rotate Suzanne on the X axis a little bit, and then switch back to edit mode. Now, if we switch, you can still see the, the, the gizmo is still, you know, up, back, left, and right. Uh, but if we switch it to local, notice it has changed. So global to local. Now it's going in the direction of the tilt of Suzanne because it's kind of local to the origin point, you know, because we rotated it. So now the local position is kind of at a different, you know, it's not going straight back, straight up and left and right here. It's kind of a, more of a V shape. So if we... Uh, you know, hit G and do Y. It's going to fall down that same line as that, uh, you know, where where that's pointing. Or we could do G and Z, and it's going to go straight up there instead of, you know, if it was in global, it would go straight up. But in local, it's going to move over here at an angle. And sometimes that can be very helpful with designs that we're going to change. And I just wanted you to see this and just be kind of aware that uh, this is possible. Uh, you can also do normal and notice that changed the gizmo again. So once it went to normal, now the the up, down, left, and right is based on the actual normal. And normal is just another kind of word for the face here. So you know this one I just have this face or this normal selected. And normals just help Blender know which way is facing like you know outward and which face is facing inward. That's the only thing it's doing. And for this one we can see the gizmo, the the Z essentially is pointing this way. So it's saying that the normal or the face is actually facing or pointing that way. So with that, we can still do G and X and that will slide you know, up because that's the X for this, this face or this normal. Or we can do G and Y and that's gonna slide it to the left and right because that is what it is, um, the orientation to this face here. Or we can do G and Z and it's actually gonna grow in the direction um, of that that face, like which way that that normal or that face is pointing. So that is just a few of them. I just wanted you. We're not going to go too deep into that, but I just wanted you to know, you know, what what is going on here. We're not going to go into these until later, but uh, you know, these are the main three you're going to use most of the time. And so let's go ahead and reset our Suzanne. So I'm just going to hit Tab and do Alt. R to reset the rotation, and now we've reset our monkey here. So let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson. Yeehaw!